Welcome to Treasure Hunting with Daddy Digger. I search for old coins and old jewelry. And other interesting relics of our forgotten past. Join me now for my latest treasure hunting adventure. Hello there, this is not a metal detecting video, but it's related to that. It's a metal detecting finds video. And it's Christmas holidays now, so I'm doing a lot of family things. The orders for my online business are just going through the roof, so I've been hunting, but I've only been able to get time about 10 o'clock at night. I've been going in the local fields just out here. I've been one night for about oh, three hours with the Deus, a little bit further away from the house, nearer the local village, and I went for a similar amount of time the other direction, down by the river, with the E-Track. So these are the finds from the Deus, and these are the finds from the E-Track. I didn't take a torch with me, so I have no idea what I've got. Now there were certain items that felt like they were coin shaped and under the light of the moon I could see that they possibly were coins. So they are in the keeper department of each of these bags. And there's a bit of weight in these bags. They're not all filled with coins, I assure you of that. This one, I'm sure I dug a lot of lead, there was a lot of heavy items with the Deus. And there's quite a lot of crap in there from the E-Track as well. I was digging very deep signals, little twitchy ones, faint ones, ones that were jumping a little bit. It's an area that I've hammered, so the finds were generally pretty deep. Both machines were getting way down there. Of the coin shaped things, I think the E track did get down farther. Certainly had much deeper digs with the E track. But I don't know whether that was just because of the ground or where I was hunting. I was hunting different uh, scenarios. Both of them were pasture, but they were in different areas. As I say, one near a village, one near a river. Both of them hopefully will have at least one decent find in. So without further ado, I'll show you the Deus first and then the E-Track. Okay, we're going to start with the Deus and I'm going to empty the rubbish out first. Big lump of iron. Oh, coke, smashed up can, iron, 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 a lot of deep iron, uh, lead, iron, uh, oh, that was in the rubbish, looks like some sort of furniture fit in that, put that in the good pile. Loads more coke and iron. Something possibly off furniture. God, there's a lot of rubbish. Bird ring. More coke. Furniture fittings. Lead. Uh, that one actually looks like a weight. That's possibly a loom weight. General lead, rubbish. More coke and more iron. Not fantastic. A, that's a lot of rubbish, but it was very deep. And on to the possibly good finds. Oh wow. Well, the silver in there for a start. Smashed up sixpence from 1943 in atrocious condition. That came off pasture as well. It's four coins, more than likely Victorian onwards. Although this little farthing looks interesting. Ah, we've got a George, what's he, George the Second. Yeah, George the Second farthing there. 17, what's that, 1754. So that's going back a bit. That one's absolutely knackered. Oh wow, George the third half penny. See his port right there, facing to the right. 
would have been in fairly good condition if the outsides weren't knackered. And the other side's pretty worn, we won't get a date off that, but that, that portrait's pretty good. It's obviously in his later years because he's a big fat beast. So that'll be late 1700s, early 1800s. Oh, I can just make out Victoria, so yeah, it's Victoria there. More than likely 1860s, 1870s, because it's a young head. It would be in reasonable condition if it was cleaned up, I suppose, but yeah, it's not the best. So, five coins. One, two, three, three musket balls. Yeah, there's a button, so something or other. I'd like to think that was the top of a purse, but I don't think it is. Just things, things. A lead disc. Mm, it's not a token, unfortunately. So, they're pretty much rubbish. Five coins, three musket balls with the Deus. Actually, that button that I found with the Deus has got quite a nice little pattern on it. Now we do the E-Track. This stuff is very light. Nowhere near the weight of stuff that I've dug with the Deus. Alright, so there's a lot of soil in amongst all that stuff. Uh, that's possibly a furniture fitting. Uh, that's a button. With a little bit of pattern on it. Uh, that's just rubbish. A lot of lead. Eye ointment. God damn it! I dig loads of that. It gives a cracking signal. It gives a signal roughly the same as a shilling. Another one. Nonsense. Lead. There's a shell from a large caliber rifle. Broken. Rubbish. And a ring pull. Hey! Two ring pulls. And these are the things that I'm hoping are good from the E-Track. It's a patent piece of lead there. Nothing spectacular. Can go in with the rubbish. What looks like a flattened musket ball. In the rubbish. Uh, a button. In the rubbish. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven coins. Yeah, that one's blank. You can tell by the weight and thickness of that. That's a George III. Just about make a portrait out there facing towards the right. So that'll be late 1700s, early 1800s. Five pence. A very manky Victorian half penny. A blank coin, possibly an old farthing. More than twenty pence. And that's possibly a George the second half penny. So E track, seven coins. So seven and five. 12 coins. That was the best part of six hours between the two detectors on land that I've absolutely hammered. So it's still producing and where there's copper there's bound to be silver. Well, in fact there was one silver coin which was extremely knackered. Thanks for watching.